This season, Natchitoches celebrates its distinction as the world's eighth best Christmas city for its Christmas festival and its full calendar of holiday events. The Festival of Lights, as it's commonly known, started in 1927, sparking joy and holiday traditions for generations of families. Now in its 97th year, the Natchitoches Christmas Festival is a must see attraction along the Louisiana Holiday Trail of Lights and it is our first stop on the tour. What's your name? Anna. Anna? The Mayu family carries on a tradition from their childhood growing up in Natchitoches, a visit to the Santa Claus house as the city lights up for the annual Christmas festival. We've grown up here, we've lived here our whole lives. Um, and so for us coming as kids ourselves to be able to bring our children and get to come down here and literally have this in our backyard is so special um, each year to get to do it. And we're so excited to be so close to the 100th year of it and to be able to celebrate that with our kids. The Natchitoches Christmas Festival is now in its 97th year, and as the sun sets, the waterway lights up with over 100 lighted displays, 300,000 lights. It's a beloved tradition that attracts visitors from all over. It's a magical place during the Christmas season, and what we know from our tourism folks is we are the eighth best city in the world to celebrate Christmas, so that's a big thing. That's not in the South, that's not in the United States, that's the world. Interestingly enough, the tradition was started by a city utility worker. Our uncle, Charlie Maggio, was, he worked for the city. He was uh, an electrician, a lineman, and uh, he and Charlie Solomon and some other folks at the city, they built the first uh, Christmas set pieces that you see still, and some of the original ones are still here on the riverbank. Chris and Carmela Maggio are siblings who carry on the Christmas festival legacy started by their family members. As kids, yeah, again, we had 30, 40 cousins, and every night back in those days, you had to turn up, manually turn on the Christmas lights. So my, our Uncle Charlie would take about four or five of us every night and we would flip the switch to turn on the lights every Christmas. Each holiday season, the Maggio siblings open the doors to Santa Claus House, founded by their aunt in the late 1950s. It's a beautiful and bittersweet story. Santa Claus House honors the memory of Barry, their aunt's three-year-old son. Barry wanted to see Santa on a family shopping trip to Shreveport, but he never got the chance. Barry, our cousin, said, uh, that's okay, Mama, we'll see Santa next year. Well, unfortunately, within that year, there was an accident in the home, and Barry uh, passed away. And uh, so our, our aunt, Jeanette Maggio Gunner, uh, went to the mayor back in the late 1950s and said, if you'll build, build a Santa Claus house, we'll make sure that no kid in Natchitoches never uh, that every kid in Natchitoches has the opportunity to see Santa. Santa Claus House is open free of charge for children and pets to visit, take photos, and tell Santa what's on their Christmas list. Carmela volunteers to keep Santa Claus House open nightly during the Christmas festival through December 23rd. I took on this because it's, we want to carry on the legacy that my aunt started years ago. I think it means a lot because I, when I come every night, I just I meet so many families, local families and families from out of town. And uh, it's just, I just see the joy on the kids' faces as they come to see Santa. Joy and the pride that comes with being a Christmas bell. A dream of countless young girls growing up in Natchitoches, including Alyssa Robertson current Christmas bell, Santa's assistant, and Christmas festival ambassador. And whenever we were all little, we wanted to be Christmas bells, so now it's kind of cool to be one now. I've been called Mrs. Claus, um, elves, a bunch of different things, so it's cool to see them, and I used to be one of those. And the title comes with a responsibility. Tell me about that. It does. So a lot of it was academic, and so maintaining that 
coming to all of the things that we go to. We go all over the state, festivals. One of the highlights of the Natchitoches Christmas Festival is the Holiday Home Tour. The city is filled with these charming historic bed and breakfast inns, such as this one here, the Still Magnolia House, all decorated for the holidays. A canopy of lights covers the streets of downtown historic Natchitoches as holiday shopping, special events, and shows bring an uptick in business. On this night, Zydeco musician Catrice LaCour was performing with the LaCour Trio. First of all, congratulations. You are riding in the Rose Parade and performing. What an honor. That's uh, quite unbelievable. Yes, very excited. What was your reaction? How did you find out? Oh, uh, well, I found out several months ago, uh, but I had to keep it a secret because it wasn't announced yet. This is The Northwestern State University Middle Lab School Orchestra Director was recently inducted into the Louisiana Music Educators Association Hall of Fame, and he's writing in honor of music education, the theme of this year's Rose Parade float. Natchitoches is one of several North Louisiana cities along the Louisiana Holiday of Lights Trail, bringing visitors and boosting local economies. When you say economy, a great economic impact, I think a lot of people feel that, especially our downtown merchants, it's uh, typically the best time of the year from an economic standpoint for them. 